हेलो गाइस वेलकम एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल जेबीआर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल हेलो एवरीवन सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट एक्सरसाइज 2.1 फ्रैक्शन एंड डेसिमल्स फ्रॉम द बुक ऑफ एम एल अगरवाल दिस इज द फर्स्ट वीडियो फ्रॉम क्लास 7 इफ यू वांट टू गेट ऑल द चैप्टर्स then please subscribe my channel okay so here the first problem the first problem here you have to find out the fraction from these figures so here the first one it's a circle and the circle divided into how many parts 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 total 8 parts are there okay so that means in denominator you have to write down 8 now out of 8 parts here two parts are in shaded part okay or the colored part this one and this one two parts are there so 2 by 4 sorry 2 by 8 so that one equal to 1 by 4 so 1 by 4 is your answer now next one first here you have to count total part so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 total 10 parts are there now colored part are 3 so your answer is 3 by 10. Now, number 3. Here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Total 12 parts are there. And out of 12 parts, how many parts are color? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 part. So, your answer is 5 by 12. Now, the last one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Total 13 parts are there. Now the color part 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 7 by 13. So your answer is 7 by 13. Okay. Now let's move on to the next problem or sum number 2. Now sum number 2. What fraction of an hour is 35 minutes? Okay. So, here are 35 minutes and you have to find out the fraction of an hour. So, write down here 35 by 60. That means out of 60 because 1 hour means 60 minute. So, 35 by 60. Now, just cancel out with 5. It becomes 5, 7, 35. 5, 12, 60. So, 7 by 12. That is your answer. Number 3. Convert the following fraction into improper fraction. So, here the first one, 2 whole 7 by 9. Okay. So, now the procedure is to convert a mixed fraction into an improper fraction. First here, you have to multiply this one, 9 and 2. Okay. And then, with the product, you have to add this one, that means plus 7. So, your answer will be here, first 2 into 9 then plus 7 divided by 9. That means the denominator will be always same. So, here 18 plus 7 by 9. So, that means 25 by 9. You can write down directly. It's no problem. Now, number 2. 5 whole 4 by 11. So, here 11 into 5, it's 55. 55 plus 4, 59. So, 59 by 11. That is your answer. Next one, sum number 4. Convert the following fraction into mixed fraction. Just opposite of the previous one. So, 73 by 8. So, whenever you convert this one into mix, so first divide with the denominator. So, 9 8 is 72. So, it's 1. So, it becomes 9 whole 1 by 8. That is your answer. It's very easy. Next one, 94 by 13 so here write down 94 so now 13 7 are 91 so here 3 so 7 whole 3 by 13 that is your answer okay 7 whole 3 by 13 next one some number 5 fill in the missing number in the following equivalent fraction so here 3 by 7 that one equal to here 35 you have to fill the gap. So, as here, 7 converted into 35. So, whenever you multiply 7 with 5, it becomes 35. Okay. 
so that means the upper one will be also multiply with 5 so 3 into 5 here 15 so that means your answer is 15 i hope it's clear it's very easy number 2 5 by dash that one equal to 30 by 18 okay now 5 if you multiply 6 with 5 it becomes 30 okay that means whenever you divide 30 by 6 it becomes 5 so here also just divide 18 by 6 and that one equal to 3 so 3 is your answer now the last one number 3 number 3 here dash by 9 that one equal to 56 and here 72 so 9 eights are okay 9 eights are 72 so here that means something you have to multiply with 8 and it becomes 56 so here 7 so 7 eights are 56 so your answer is 7 now next some number 6 1 Reduce the following fraction to their simplest form. So here 48 by 72. So first divide it by 2. So it becomes 24 and this one here 36. Again divide by 2, 12 and this one here 18. Again divide it's 9 and this one 6. Now divide by 3, it's 2 and here 3. So your final answer 2 by 3. Okay, your final answer that is 2 by 3. Now, number 2. Number 2 here, 276 divided by 115. So, here 276 divided by 23, it becomes 12. And this one, 115 divided by 23 and that one equal to 5. So, your answer is here 12 by 5. Now, the last one, number 3. In number 6, 3, you have 72 by 336. Okay. 72 by 336 so if you divide this one by 2 so it becomes here 36 and 336 divided by 2 it's 168 again again divide by its 18 this one here 8 and here 4 this one 9 and this one here 4 and 2 okay so now 3 3s are 9 and here 3 1s are 3 so 3 4 so your final answer is 3 by 14 now next one sum number 7 in sum number 7 convert the following fraction into equivalent like fraction so as here first one 3 by 4 second one 5 by 6 and third one 7 by 8 you have to make this three fraction into equivalent like fraction so, as your equivalent like fraction means, you have to make all the denominator a same. Okay. So, first do one thing. First find out the LCM of the denominators. So, here 4, 6 and 8 you have. So, first find out the LCM. So, 2, 2 is a 4. 2, 3 is a 6. 2, 4 is a 8. Again, 2, 1 is a 2. 3 and 2, 2 is a so here LCM is 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 that means here 24 so just like write down in this way so here write down 24 in each and every case so as here 4 if you multiply 6 with it becomes 24 here 6 so 6 multiply with 4 it becomes 24 here 8 so 8 multiply with 3 it becomes 24 so as the numerator for the last one multiply with 3 so upper one will be also multiply with 3 here the upper one multiply with 4 and here the upper one multiply with 6 so 6 3 is a 18 5 4 is a 20 and 7 3 is a 21 okay so your answer here 18 by 24 20 by 24 and 21 by 24 okay it's very easy now the next one same process 7 by 25 the first fraction next 9 by 10 the second one and 19 by 40 the third one so find out the lcm first divide it by 5 so 5 5 za 5 2 za and 5 8 za now divide by 2 so 2 1 za and 2 4 za 
so here 2 into 4 into 5 into 5 okay so now as here you know 5 into 5 25 and 4 to the 8 so it becomes 200 as the LCM so write down here 200 again write down here 200 and this one also 200 now 40 okay 40 multiply with 5 it becomes 200 20 multiply with 10 200 and 25 multiply with 8 200 so here 7 into 8 9 into 20 and 19 into 5 so it becomes 95 here 180 and here 56 okay so your answer here 56 by 200 180 by 200 and 95 by 200 now next one sum number 8 arrange the given fraction in descending order okay so descending means greater to smaller okay so here the first one number 1 2 by 9 second one 2 by 3 and the third one here 8 by 21 so first here you have to make all the fraction into equivalent like fraction as same as the previous one that means some number 7 you know that first here you have to find out the LCM of 9 3 and 21 that means all the denominators so here 3 3 is a 9 3 1 is a and then 3 7 is a so 3 into 3 into 7 and that one equal to 63 so write down here 63 you know how to make it equivalent like fraction so 21 into 3 it's 63 3 into here 21 and 9 into here 7 so the upper one also multiply with 7 here 2 into 21 here 8 into 3 that means 24 it's 42 and here 14 so here the greater one is this one so first one then second one and then third one okay descending order now next number 2 8 to here 1 by 5 then next one 3 by 7 and next one 7 by 10 so just draw the line okay now find out the LCM 5 7 and 10 5 divide by 1 7 2 so 5 into 2 into 7 and that one equal to here 70 okay so 10 into 7 it's 70 here 7 into 10 70 5 into 14 70 so 1 into 14 14 3 into 10 30 7 into 7 49 so here the greater one the first one so last one then second one and then the first one okay but whenever you want to write the answer okay then just write down this one first 7 by 10 write the given fraction okay then 3 by 7 and the last one 1 by 5 don't write this fraction always you have to write the given fraction remember that one okay so now let's move on to the last sum that means sum number 9 so guys if you like my video please please share this video and please subscribe my channel okay you can also visit our website for the other chapter the link of the website is in the description box okay don't forget to like or share this videos so as here 5 by 7 3 by 8 9 by 14 20 by 21 okay and here arrange the given fraction in ascending order so ascending means you know from lower to greater or smaller to greater so first here you have to find out the LCM 7 8 14 and 21 so 7 1 the 7 7 2 the 14 7 3 then again divide by 2 it's 4 1 and 3 always divide by prime number remember that so here 2 into 3 into 4 into 7 okay so 2 into 3 into 4 into 7 so 2 3 is a 6 6 4 is a 24 24 into 7 it's 168 so this one here 168 then again write down this one 168 
again 168 and the last one 168 now we have 21 so 21 7 and 3 that means 4 into 2 8 so 21 into 8 168 here 14 so 7 to the 14 that means 3 4 the 12 so multiply 12 here 8 so it's 21 here 7 so that means 24 so upper one 5 into 24 okay and that one equal to 120 here 3 into 21 so 63 here 9 into 12 so 108 and last one here 20 into 8 so 160 okay now you have to arrange this one as ascending order so the first one is this one 3 by 8 second one is 9 by 14 third one is 5 by 7 and the last one here 20 by 21 so i hope the next problem is as same as this one so i hope you can solve this one